Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. I've got some incredible content I wanna share with you. We're gonna talk about the three tools that you can use right now to be able to infuse cash into your practice right here, right now. My name is Dr. Perry Bard, and what I want you to do right here, right now, is I want you to take out a pad of paper and I want you to take some notes. Now, I'm not gonna give you a lot of notes, but what I will give you and what I will share with you here in this training is something you definitely, definitely wanna write down. Now, there's no question, the content that I'm about to share with you may be a little unsettling to some of you. Um, it may force you to get out of a comfort zone. It may open your eyes to something that's going on outside your doors that you may want to be a part of and you may want to start utilizing to infuse cash into your practice right here, right now. Now, if you're curious as to kind of a little bit about who I am, what I do per se, well, I am no different than you. I started just like you. I am a chiropractor through and through. I started like you and I still am, of course, thank goodness, a chiropractor. However, something along the lines took a different course and I'll share that with you here with a little backstory super, super quick in the simple fact that I never changed my philosophy. I never changed the science. I never changed the art per se. But what I did was I refined it. And I'm going to share that with you here on this training here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to kind of a little bit about the beginning as to how it all started. And this is something, you know, it's kind of cool because I look at my life always kind of like a movie. And I, I think your life as a chiropractor should always be kind of looked upon as a movie. In other words, where you've got comedy, you've got intrigue, you've got mystery, you've got drama. <laughs> and then you've got victory. That's a beautiful thing. Day one when I went to school, this was the very beginning for me. I loaded up a U-Haul trailer. That was my pop right there. And uh, the coolest thing about this before I headed off to chiropractic school was in essence this. I found the, the biggest desk I could find. And the reason I found the biggest desk I could find was because I felt that if I had the biggest desk in the world, it would help me study better. Well, I was always looking for something. I was always looking for a better way to do things. And, you know, fast forward so many years later, it, it proved to be true. I loaded the biggest desk I could find. I headed up to, of all places, believe it or not, Life College. And a unique thing happened. It was actually 34 years ago. This is actually my graduating picture. What a crazy, crazy thing, right? But what's even crazier is actually this, that the class that I went into was actually the largest class in the history of the chiropractic profession of new doctors or new potential doctors coming in ever and that's how it started so i was used to kind of like big numbers so what happened was after i graduated i went into my own practice i put my shingle up just like all of you it said chiropractor and i was ready to hit the ground running and boy did we hit the ground running however what we found was this we found that when we changed the name from chiropractor believe it or not to a more generic name like health first, wink, wink, if you know what I mean, I was able to throw a wider net. And that is, in essence, really one of the themes as to what we want you guys to do and gals here to do right here today. We want you to throw a much wider net based upon the conditions that we are in right now. And I promise you it's gonna get better. However, there's some changes you need to make right here, right now. So when I change my name to health first, things really started snowballing only in like in the best possible way. The thing that if, uh, I guess you would say that if I was ever known for anything, I was known for one thing and that was that my clinic was able to eventually get to a magic number. That number was 20 new paying patients per day. I'll repeat that. 20 new patients in my door every single day paying cash at the front desk. This went on for over four years. It was incredible. And we called them, we actually had a term for them, we called them NPPs or new paying patients. So instead of NPs, they were NPPs because everybody came in and they laid cash down. 
And it was really remarkable. It didn't start that way. I started with like three new ones a day and then five new ones a day and then 10 new ones a day. But I'm gonna teach you exactly how we were able to do that on this training here actually today. And I've never done this ever before, but this is a unique time. So I wanted to share some unique information and I wanted to, you know, I kind of wanted to make a little history with you guys here today. So what I want you to do is this, before I go into it, I want you to check something out. And what I want you to do is I want you to actually look at the dates. Now this was actually our original sign that we put on the pylon out there and you'll notice the dates here what I did was I said you know no one's ever going to believe this imagine 20 new pain patients a day every single day that's 100 new pain patients per week every single week who would believe this so I took a video camera and I did like a week of and then what we did was really really remarkable what I did was I actually filmed in essence what my office actually looked like <laughs> every week and where they would line up almost like I hate to say but it's kind of you know it was almost like a delicatessen and where they would like take a number and you know but when you've got an amazing service and you've got the ability to share with your universe your market your demographic the ability to change their life in the most positive way as a chiropractor as a chiropractor it's incredible so I love these because I actually had my children actually <laughs> in it they were actually monitoring traffic for us but it was wild I had ropes set up so they would line up so it wouldn't offend any other business and I'm gonna talk about how I did that here today because this is a game of numbers so we want to position you in a kind of a different way with regards to how to raise your numbers the right way so it was wild it was a time of our life it was a time of their life and then eventually what happened was I saw I had four offices that office was one single office 20 new patients a day I'm not even counting the other new patients and then eventually I stopped practicing and I sold off all my offices and then a number of years ago I actually opened another office actually believe it or not in 2010 and this was a beautiful office it was five minutes from where I live it was right over the bridge you drive down the water a place called a1a down the beach side you go over one bridge and you're at the office it was pretty wild it was gorgeous I had granite floors I had wood I had professionally designed I had halogen lights I had these great I mean it was it had artwork it was wild and and patients love this office and then a crazy thing happened I ended up actually selling that office too. And you're never gonna believe who I sold that office to. I ended up selling that office to none other, believe it or not, than Whole Foods. Actually, Whole Foods bought my plaza, crazy, and they ended up buying out my office. What a wild thing that was. So now I shop for foods at Whole Foods in the exact location where I was turning the power on every single day for abundant patients and more. So if you're like me, there was probably always one question that kind of like, I guess you would say like, kind of like stuck in your gourd. Can I say that? It was kind of like, almost like nails on the blackboard. And it was the question that I was asked for years. And you know what that question is. I was asked by virtually every patient this question. And that was, will you accept my insurance? And the reality was, if we didn't answer that question the right way, then you know what happens click <laughs> so there's a proper way to answer that question but I will tell you this my office at that time going back many years ago was basically an insurance driven practice much like so many of you as time went on I ended up developing what they call I don't know if you ever heard of this it's called a BFF it stands for best friend forever if you want to know who my best friend forever my true BFF and it's probably yours too happened to be of all people <laughs> happened to be my postman it was my mailman why was he my best friend well gosh he was bringing us abundant stacks of checks every day from insurance cases per se and as time went on there was a pendulum shift if you will and what happened is you know so well I don't have to tell you but I will it became survival of the fittest in other words the doctors that were able to morph from an insurance based practice to a cash driven practice really set the stage and the table for where you are today so nothing ever changed I'm still a chiropractor thank goodness just like all of you and there is one little caveat to that which I will share with you this and I will share with you in essence the difference and the difference probably between you and I is probably this and that is in essence my specialty and my specialty as you will see is as really what we call in essence the triple threat and the triple threat really is disc 
nerve, and last but not least, joint. When I say joint, meaning shoulders or knees per se. So my focal point of my practice are those three things. In addition to that, my attitude. And my attitude may be a little bit different because of the simple fact that I saw this pendulum shift over time. And I knew that if I didn't increase my communication skills, increase my focal point, increase my ability to really key in to what's really important here, then I would have ended up like all those other chiropractors who were really, you know, basically grinding and, and clawing and, and, and really struggling. And that wasn't for me and I hope it's not for you. The other thing was my work ethic. My work ethic is really, in one word, it, it's driven. And it's driven by the simple fact that I was put on this planet to help as many sick patients as possible as a chiropractor. That was my mission, that was my purpose, that was my intent, that was my desire, and that was my goal. Guess what? Just like most, if not all of you, and you know what I'm talking about. Now, as a result of these three, three things, there was one thing that changed, and it changed kind of dramatically. And what changed was my bank account. My bank account really, over time, became very healthy. And that's an understatement because of the simple fact that I was practicing with a specialty on disc, on nerve, on joint. My work ethic was tried and true. My commitment to doing the best job that I can to my patients as a chiropractor really, really was the key. It really only came down to one simple thing. There was one simple thing here. When I, we started to get it down to the lowest common denominator, if you want to know what the lowest common denominator was, it was simply this, and that was that recognizing no matter how good I was as a chiropractor, that if we're talking about a cash-based business, then in essence, the most patients generally will spend for a cash-based package of chiropractic care in and of itself and by itself is probably in the ballpark of about twelve to fifteen hundred dollars. We're talking about 95 percent to 98 percent of the playing field as it exists today. However, they will pay cash for services that are under the chiropractic umbrella that include the following, that include number one, spinal decompression, that include the treatment of peripheral neuropathy, and that include the treatment of specialized joint care. So if you live in this world, in other words, if you live in the spinal decompression world, taking care of disc problems, where patients are looking at orthopedic surgeons and neurosurgeons and neurologists and pain management specialists and physiatrists, and then they get an opportunity to meet you. Well, this is a healthy place to be. If you're in the treatment of peripheral neuropathy and or joint care, this is such a great place to be. So why is it a great place to be? Well, I promise you with respect to positioning, it is a cash-driven model. And because it's a cash-driven model, doctors right now that practice in that style of practice are collecting three, four, five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars $8,000 plus per case. And this is cash. Now, when we talk about cash, what we're talking about are three things. We're talking about credit cards, we're talking about checks, we're talking about patient financing. Those are the three most common ones right here. Now, obviously, they can pay you in actually uh, in Ben Franklin's, but we're talking about these three things. And why? Because at the end of the day, I didn't make this up. This has been out there forever. Somebody said that cash is king. And the reason that cash is king is because of the simple fact is because you doctors didn't have to be a dependent anymore on the playing field that exists right now, didn't have to be dependent upon insurance companies. So we'll talk about the big three. And the big three, as I mentioned, number one, non-surgical spinal decompression, number two, peripheral neuropathy, number three, joint care. So I've been singing this song. This is not like because it's the coolest thing to say. I've been singing this same song for many, many years. The only difference is now that there are so many doctors that wanted to really learn the lyrics of this song and, uh, and the song hasn't changed. And the song is simple and that is that chiropractic will always, always be an art. It will always be a philosophy. It will always be a science. That's what makes us strong. Where you put the emphasis is upon you. However, I do want you as a result of this training and in terms of what I'm about to show you, I want you to pay attention to this. 
I want you to pay attention to what we always called the fourth leg of the chair. And the fourth leg of the chair is that it's a business. Yes, chiropractic is a business. It's a philosophy, it's a science, it's an art, but yes, it's a business. And I actually made this slide so many years ago and it resonated with so many doctors because of the simple fact that it's not a three-legged chair. It's a four-legged chair and you don't have to dilute anything else. You don't have to dilute the philosophy, you don't have to dilute the art, you don't have to dilute the science, but you must move to the front of the line, the business. And that's what I'm gonna show you here today. I've been singing the same song for all these years. There was actually a band years ago that came out with a movie called The Song <laughs> Remains the Same. And you get to show this slide if you've treated the band Yes, you get to show this slide. So I've had a dream life as a chiropractor and uh, you're about to see why. We're gonna talk about the big idea here today and it may be a little bit different than the big idea that you knew years ago. Trust me, it's a better big idea. And the big idea is this, that everything, everything starts with the subluxation. However, if the subluxation isn't treated properly, if it's ignored, if it's abandoned, if it's not acknowledged, if it's not assessed, be it on behalf of the patient, not getting an opportunity to ever meet you, see you, get in your universe, or for whatever reason, then left untreated, what happens is it'll morph into something else. It'll become a potential bulging disc. Now you show me an x-ray where you have a bone sitting on a nerve and I promise you, I promise you, you're gonna see some degree of disc involvement. However, if that goes untreated or if there is enough traumatic insult at some point in time, then that becomes a herniation. And that's doctors often where you come in with respect to being able as a chiropractor to treat bulging discs, to treat degenerative discs, to treat herniated discs in a non-surgical, non-invasive, natural approach using technology that allows you to raise your star power as a chiropractor. So it is vital, it is so crucial, it's so important that you discover the top three tools. So we're gonna talk about those three tools here today. And the three tools are as followed. That there's actually, believe it or not, there's a time-tested model with respect to a model that's actually already exists. And that's what I'm gonna share with you here today. The model, believe it or not, is a model that was created by not the chiropractic profession, it was actually created by the dental profession. And what the dental profession did in its genius, now more than ever, is something that I'm about to show you. But if you're probably sitting there and you're watching this, you say, gee, you know, he seems a little passionate about it. Well, heck yeah, I am. And the reason why is simple. The reason why is because I actually have two sons. We have two children. And my wife and myself have two boys. One is actually in dental school right now. The other one, guess where he is? You bet, he's in chiropractic school. And why? Well, because the dental profession and the chiropractic profession, if you choose to decide to practice this way, can basically be a 100% cash-driven model. Now, here's an interesting thing. In dentistry, they've actually used a practice builder for years, and it may be something that you're familiar with, maybe you're not. Tell me if you've heard about this before. It's actually called, believe it or not, it's called the bite wing x-ray. Now, the bite wing x-ray is standard operating procedure, what we call SOP, in every single dental office. And bike wing x-rays basically are some of the most common sets of x-rays. And basically, really what it is, if you wanted to equate what a bike wing x-ray is comparative to a chiropractic x-ray, I'm gonna tell you that it's similar to what we would normally do as what we would call an A to P in lateral. It wouldn't be a full series, it wouldn't be a Davis series, it wouldn't be obliques, it wouldn't be flexion extension, it wouldn't be bending views, no. It would be more of an A to P in lateral view in terms of basically what it is. So the X-ray, the bite wing X-ray has actually been, has actually been the dentist's best friend for so many years. Why? Because it's a bridge to so many other things. Well, guess what? You know what the chiropractor's best friend is? The chiropractor's best friend, yes, it's not Snoopy. <laughs> Although Snoopy is not a bad friend to have, of course. The, the, 
basically, I will tell you that the best friend of the chiropractor, possibly the most underutilized friend of the chiropractor, is this. And that is the digital x-ray. And the reason that the digital x-ray is potentially the chiropractor's best friend is because it gives you the tools when utilized correctly to be able to educate the patient based upon medical necessity, based upon urgency, based upon degree of severity, based upon what's actually going on. It allows you to eliminate the questions that every patient has when they see you, be it back pain, neck pain, leg pain, radiating pain, numbness, tingling, paresthesia, pins and needles, gait dysfunction. These are all the reasons that patients are coming to see you right now. Now, if you remember years ago, there was actually famous words that were said, and they were said by none other, believe it or not, then guess who? Dr. Parker, yes. The original, the original practice management consultant, 50, 60, who knows how many years ago. I know it was a long time, but he said these words, and these were the words that resonated with me forever. And the words said, to see is to know, and not to see is to guess. And the reality is that if you guess, if you guess, then guess what? then you're not in the best position. And I have a feeling most of you don't like to guess what's going on. I don't blame you. Who likes to guess? Nobody. So the reality is this. The reality is that you want to be in a position of authority and you want to use an objective analytical device to be able to do this. And if you do it the right way, then you can educate the, pro the patient based upon what's going on. Now, every doctor has this in their office. They have what we call the phases of spinal degeneration. This is in virtually every chiropractor's office. And most doctors are talking about the bone and they're talking about the nerve. Right? Hard bone, soft nerve, above, down, inside out, the power that made the body heals the body, all factual, all true, all from the heart, and it's never changed. But if you want to start changing the direction of your communication, what you should start doing is you should also start talking about the disc, the health of the disc. And if your evaluation, your consultation, your examination are consistent with something going on that may require an additional level of diagnostic testing. Well, you know what that testing is. That's called an MRI. So never be afraid to order an MRI because it gives you the tools necessary to be able to evaluate the patient correctly and assess the patient and then give the patient choices. Old school chiropractic is, you know, you would go to a chiropractic meeting, everybody would talk about their PVA. How many visits are you seeing? Oh, I'm seeing 50. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing my PVA is 50 per patient. Oh, what's yours? 80 per patient. Oh, what's yours? 120. <laughs> so cool, right? Well, you know what's cooler? I'll tell you what's cooler. PVA, but in a different way. The new PVA is really what we talk about patient value average. Remember, I told you this is going to be a business meeting. So if we're going to talk about business, we're going to talk about case value here. And if we're talking about disc problems, nerve problems, joint problems, I'll guarantee that your cases will be healthier in terms of reimbursement. So let's talk about the tools that we said we're going to share with you on this training. We're going to talk about tool number one. And tool number one goes back to what we just shared, which is the digital x-ray. So what we do is so vital, so crucial, and this really came from the dental profession, and that is we do what's known as the updated medical records telephone call. Now, the updated medical records telephone call basically is something that allows the patient to understand that it's a brand new month, it's a brand new year, it's a brave new world, it's a bold new future, and the most important thing that they can have on record, now more than ever, now more than ever, is updated medical records. And yes, by updating their medical records in your office, they can stay current in case their health happens to take a turn to the left or in case their health happens to take a turn to the right. 
This call is something that in essence we do and we do it basically on rotation throughout the year. So in other words, we're constantly calling our patients, informing them that their medical records need to be updated. And it is something that in our office, we always call the SOP or standard operating procedure because it's so vital and it's so crucial that patients have updated medical records. Imagine you have patients in your practice that haven't been to your practice in five years. Well, guess what? A lot has changed. Now, how cool is it for you to reach out to them via email, via text, via phone call, and to inform them with exact scripting and exact verbiage that the time is right right now and you doctor will be able to update your their medical records by taking a picture of the inside of their body to be able to see what the inside of their body looks like based upon medical necessity and to be able to share with them what's going on right here right now and to do so without any further obligation and without any further cost and that's one of the coolest things going there's an old saying maybe you've heard it before if you haven't you're about to hear it now that i need to know how much you care before i care how much you know and this is basically this is basically what every patient is thinking and if you can address this in this order, show the patients how much you care by getting them in this week with updating their medical records right here, right now by doing the appropriate medical test, case in point, updated x-rays to be able to look inside their body. How, how incredible is it? How cool is it to know that you have the ability to in essence give them their most important piece of data that they can have as a patient which is what the inside of their body looks like and you'll do it this week now you could do it at a reduced fee if you choose you could do it for free that's completely up to you but there is a way to do this properly and we're going to talk about that so basically what we do is we actually wrote a script on this and it's a script we've actually used for years and it is perfect. Doesn't need to be changed, doesn't need to be tweaked, doesn't need to be modified, doesn't need to be enhanced. It's perfect because what it does is it books the appointment for the patient. So it's so incredible and we'll talk about that in this. But there's a couple of other tools that I actually wanna share with you right here. So let's start, number one, obviously, with Number one, the updated medical records phone call. That's number one. Let's talk about number two. And what number two is in essence, what I always call, believe it or not, my secret weapon. And what my secret weapon is, is actually this. And I've never ever shared this before ever openly. Uh, but guess what? You know what? These are unique times. These are special times. And uh, you know that old saying, a candle never loses its flame by lighting another candle. So I'm about to light a lot of candles right now. This is my secret weapon. My secret weapon for so many years has been what we term as the lists. Now, when we talk about the list, what we're actually talking about is this. What we're talking about is I actually use, believe it or not, I actually use very, very targeted mailing lists. And these lists are unique and different than probably anything you've ever seen, anything you've ever done, um, and anything you were able really to get your hands on, which I'm actually gonna talk about here. Now, what I do is I target specific homeowners I target specific vocations and I target specific groups. And how do I do that? Well, I'm gonna show you how I do that. What I do is I actually mail them a specific piece. So I hope you got that specific homeowners, specific vocations, specific groups, and then I mail them a specific piece. And that piece has a very, very powerful, what we call CTA. And what the CTA stands for, as many of you know, is call to action. So with regards to the examples, I'm gonna share with you some examples as to actually what I really do. And what I really do is this. What I do is I target specifically teachers. 
I target specifically police department, sheriff's department, um, police officers, police officers, um, uh, state troopers, uh, and, and more. So many of, of people who are in law enforcement. Now, I also target the fire department. Now, there's a new one here that I've been targeting, and as you probably guessed it, it's called first responders. We actually have included now on this list, and we've actually moved them to the front of the line, first responders. Now, what I do is I use what's called a targeted SIC code list. Now, what a SIC code list, for those of you who may not know, is that SIC stands for Standard Industrial Classification, meaning every vocation in the world has an SIC code, meaning with a couple of keystrokes on a computer, I can have numbers and lists run for me in specific demographics of specific loca vocations and more. However, it gets actually, believe it or not, it actually gets even better. Now, what we're talking about here, and I want you to take a note on this, is we're actually talking about not their necessarily the place of work. That's a given. What we're talking about is their home address. That's what we're talking about right here. And their home address, in essence, is really, really where you need to mail this piece today. Not yesterday, <laughs> today. You gotta, you gotta put this together and you have to get it out ASAP. Now I've had a secret weapon and I really, as I said, I, I share my secret weapon here for the first time ever. And my secret weapon is actually this, or I guess you would say my extra secret weapon, is that I actually target individuals that have made inquiries based upon symptomatology. Now let me repeat that. What I'm talking about is imagine individuals in your marketplace that have already indicated a need or a desire to learn more about back pain, about neck pain, about herniated discs, about radiculopathy, neuropathy, radiating pain, numbness, tingling, whiplash, pins and needles, headaches, loss of sensation, balance problems, gait disorders. Well, that's just the start of it. Well, I'll give you an example, and here's actually an example of how I go about getting this information. And what I do is there's actually a company that I use. There's actually a company that I have been using, believe it or not, for 25 years. And where you can actually, and I wanted to give you an example as to just basically by finding out in your marketplace, imagine how many people specifically in your area have, when I talk about your area, I'm talking about your demographic, three miles, five miles, eight miles, 10 miles, that have made an inquiry in some which way, shape, or form about getting some more information. Now, the inquiry could have been by mail, it could have been on the internet, it could have been a click on, it could have been a squeeze page, a lead page, a landing page, it could have been a funnel, it could have been any of these things, but, that information now goes out into the World Wide Web. And here's an example actually of, this is actually in essence, the types of information that you can actually pull. Imagine finding out all the individuals in your marketplace that, that have had arm and shoulder problems, that have had muscle problems. Why do I say muscle? The reason I say muscle is very interesting. The reason I say muscle is because of the simple fact that you ask most patients, what do you think is causing your problem? What a great question to ask your patients. I've asked my patients that for years. And I'll say, what do you think, in essence, is causing your problem? After you do your whole OPQRST, and you would be shocked how many times a patient says, you know, doc, I gotta tell you, I think, I think it's just a tight muscle. <laughs> well, guess what? You know what I always say to them? You may be right. However, in our office, we have a saying, to see is to know, and not to see is to guess. And in our office, we don't guess. You know what we're gonna do? Here's my recommendation. Here's my prescription. Let's take a picture. Let's take a look inside and see what's actually going on. Then we'll know for sure. Does that make sense? And 
I'm always able to get to yes because I'm able to explain to patients the rhyme, the reason, the purpose of taking a picture of what the inside of their body looks like. So again, it all comes back, remember the first tool? Well, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna conjoin all these tools as well. Now the question is, if you're sitting and watching this right now, you're probably wondering, where does this information actually come from and how can I get my hands on it? Well, I'm about to share that with you. The way you can get your hands on that or on this information is the following. There's actually a person, believe it or not, now, I've been a chiropractor for 33 years. Crazy, right? Loving every second of it and more. But the fact is, is that 25 of those years, I've worked with one individual who's actually given me these mailing lists. Would you believe that? A quarter of a century, holy cow, I've been pulling these mailing lists. And I wanted to show you, in essence, what she does because there is a charge for it. It's not free, of course. They charge per thousand. There's a, there's a delivery fee. But in the big picture, you're talking not a nominal cost here. And the crazy thing here is, in essence, how loyal she's been. So I figured after all these years, there's no middleman here. If you figure you're gonna call me and I'm gonna turn you on to her, well, that's happening right now. You can call her directly and if you were curious where it comes from, here's where it comes from. The company that I use is actually a company, as I mentioned, for 25 years, I've been working actually with the same person. The name of the company is actually called the Dunhill List Company. Now, some of you have heard of a company called Info USA. They're like probably one of the biggest, if not the biggest in the country. The difference between Dunhill and Info USA is simple, and this is a very targeted, this is a very, try calling Info USA and see if you get the same person on the phone week after week after week. Doesn't happen. You call Dunhill, you're gonna get the same person on the phone. I've been dealing with her for 25 years. Her name, which is I'm about to share with you, um, is, uh, is unique because she's so unique and she's been so dear to me and she's been so dear to all my doctors. She has basically put more, helped doctors put more bodies, more traffic, more people, more patients in chiropractors' offices than possibly anyone on the planet. And again, that's the website. You can go to the website, you can go check it out yourself. Like I said, I'm giving you stuff away here today. And my contact person is for over 25 years, her name is Chrissy Milano. And yes, when you think of Milano, yes, the Pepperidge Farm cookie, of course. <laughs> Who doesn't love chocolate Pepperidge Farm Milano cookies? Come on, all right. So give her a call if you're curious. Now, here's the unique thing about it. What you'll do is you're going to mail them a specific piece. Now, here's a cool thing. I, I don't know if I told you this, but to run the numbers in your market, there's no cost to do that. So if you're just curious and you say, hey, gee, you know, I practice in ABC City. I want to go five miles out. She's going to ask you for your zip codes. And then she can run the list of people in your market who may have made an inquiry based upon symptomatology. Now, here's the key. You've got to send them a very, very specific targeted piece. Very specific. And um, as I mentioned to you one more time, the list searches are free. So you've got nothing to lose by doing it. I've been doing it for a quarter of a century and my gift to you on behalf of, of course, Dr. Kaplan and myself, we're so happy to share this with you here. And if you'd like a free copy of, in essence, my examples of what I actually send to these prospective patients, well, let's recap, all right, before we do so. And that is this, number one, it starts with the list. In other words, you gotta know which list to get. Number two, I use targeted mailing list. I mentioned here that I'm going for first responders, I'm going for teachers, I'm going for police department. There are also a host of other groups that I use, but for the purposes of this training, I'm not going over that. Um, I'll do that on another training, of course. Um, I also target, as I mentioned, and this is a recap, specific homeowners, vocations groups. Now, there are some other filters that I use as well, but again, I'm gonna save that for another training, and I mail them a very, very specific piece, as I mentioned. It has a very specific call to action. These are the groups that I'm marketing. Remember, not just the teachers, but first responders. I wanna move them up to the front. I'm going for individuals that have made a specific symptom inquiry in some which way, shape, or form. It's not important how Dunhill gets this information, 
information. A lot of this is public record. They have a unique proprietary method of getting this information. And then what I do, again, if we want to go back to tool one, is I use a very specific script for all my existing patients for the call to action right now to remind them that it's vital and crucial and important to update their medical records based upon the playing field that exists in terms of the health environment that exists right now. Now, if you're curious about some of these things that we shared here, there's actually, believe it or not, there's two ways to get them, all right? The first way, number one, is the following. Now, I know for a fact that there are so many doctors that have just watched this that, guess what, are already part of our family. They're concierge coaches, doctors. They're dissenters of America centers. And we consider you doctors, what we always call is you know so well, part of our family. So if you are a concierge coaches doctor already, um, or if you're a dis and or Dissenters of America doctor already, then simply all you need to do is just send us an email and send us an email to, as you know, our email, newpatientnow at AOL.com. Once again, newpatientnow at AOL.com. Or you've got another option. If you're not a concierge coach's doctor yet, or if you're not a Dissenters of America doctor yet, you have another option to be able to get your hands on some of these very, very cool tools. And that is, what I would suggest is this. What I would suggest is if you have the ability to secure a seat at a once in a lifetime training, then you need to jump all over this. It is called the Cairo event. And the Cairo event is really a training that's based upon positioning you, doctor, in the most powerful way. There's the website. You can go to the website. You can go check it out yourself. And the unique thing about this training now is this training is geared towards the playing field and the environment that we exist in right now in terms of who's essential and who's not essential. If you want to find ways that you can move your essential practice to the front of the line and to be able to communicate better with patients, to bring the threshold down, in other words, to be able to basically, in essence, to be able to lower the bar so patients could step over them when the time is right to be able to come back to your office in the masses in masses so you can have a true waiting list practice just like the practice i showed you the slides before if this is what you want then go to this website right now because the training that we do is so topical and is so on point and is so specific to what we're doing. Now, if you want to stay in the old insurance driven model or the poor, poor, pitiful me model, we call that the Linda Ronstadt model. Why? Because she sang a song years ago called Poor, Poor, Pitiful Me. I don't know if you remember it, but you can, you can go on Spotify and you can listen to it. Well, this is not for the poor, poor, pitiful me doctors. For the doctors that get the big idea that say, you know what? What do I've got to lose? Let me surround myself with doctors that are very similar to me, that are entrepreneurial, that are focused, that love chiropractic, that love changing lives, that love being able to see patients that no other chiropractor could see, love seeing patients that are going to orthopedic surgeons, neurosurgeons, neurologists, pain management specialists, and now, for the first time ever, allow them to know who you are, what you do, where you can be found, and why, why they need to see you. Those are called the four W's. Who you are, what you do, where you can be found, and why. Now it's more important than ever for them to come to see you today. Go to the chiropractic, go to www.thechiroevent, learn more about it, try to grab a seat there, and if you don't get there, and you're saying, well, gee, you know what? It's sold out. The reason it's sold out is because if you go to the latest copy of The American Chiropractor, if you go to the latest copy of Chiropractic Economics, if you go to the latest copy of Dynamic Chiropractic, you're gonna see full page ads in there for the Cairo event. Now you might say, well, gee, did they know something was coming down the pike? 
I can't tell you that. What I can tell you is this. What I can tell you is that the playing field of chiropractic or the chiropractic profession is always changing. The entrepreneurial doctors that want to stay ahead of the curve are the doctors that have attended the chiro event in the past. And every single one of them sells out. Every single one. So if you go to the website, you'll see a pop-up box right there that says, you're on a wait list. In other words, if you can't get through, there'll be a pop-up box that says you're on a wait list. Do you want to stay on the wait list? Yes or no. And then you can click that box because there's a strong probability it may already be sold out. And that's why I say if, that's why before I said if you can attend, try to grab a seat. Also too, if you go to the American Chiropractor, there's actually a six page interview that you want to read about. It's a very cool interview. I got to tell you, it's in the American Chiropractor. It just hit. It's pretty awesome. And who's it about? Yeah, heck yeah, absolutely. It's about revolutionizing the world of spinal decompression. And yes, we were so honored, both Dr. Kaplan and myself, to be on the front cover this month of The American Chiropractor. It's an awesome, read the article, it's a great article. It's a great Q&A and just so honored after all these years because of the simple fact that for many of you who don't know, he's been in my life for 33 years. Bigger, better, and more. There's nobody like him. He is the greatest teacher of chiropractic communication in the history of the profession. If you don't believe me, grab a seat. You'll see why. Yes, that good. And uh, there's very few seats that remain. So uh, my suggestion is go to thechiroevent.com, try to grab a seat if you can, and uh, your mind will be blown. It is a game changer, it is a life changer. Not just for you, not just for your family, just not, not for really the most important. Who's it the game changer for? This is the game changer for your patients, your existing patients, your prospective patients. Try to grab a seat at the Cairo event as I mentioned, and as I said, there's two ways to get it. Real simple, if you're a concierge coach's doctor, just hit us up on the email. We're happy to send you all the information in terms of the marketing pieces to send to them, how, what basically the scripting, this is all coming to you. It's our gift to you, as always. That's the gift, as we always say, that keeps giving. And if you dig this, well, guess what? You ain't seen nothing yet. Grab a seat at the upcoming Cairo event mastermind training. It is the best pound for pound training you will ever attend. That we will guarantee. We hope to see you there. It's awesome.